Dr. Oz, he is going on the offensive, attacking the group of doctors, trying to get him fired from his job at Columbia University Medical School, directly questioning the integrity of those critics. ABC's Lindsay Davis here with that story. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, George. Dr. Oz's critics now include eight members of the Columbia faculty who wrote an op-ed in USA Today saying, many of us are spending a significant amount of our clinical time debunking Ozisms. But now Dr. Oz is firing back. Doctors should never fight their battles or each other in public. But now I believe I must. Dr. Mehmet Oz taking his critics to task. We will not be silenced. For nearly 30 minutes, Oz not only defended, he attacked, posting pictures and naming names of those 10 doctors who accused him of promoting quack treatments, calling for him to be removed from his faculty position at Columbia University. It's ironic that I'm being accused of a conflict of interest by these doctors when, as you're about to see, some of them have their own conflict of interest issues. Oz even enlisting investigative reporter Elizabeth Leamy, formerly of ABC News, to put these physicians under a microscope, saying some have big ties to big industry, specifically producers of genetically modified foods, which Oz says should be labeled, linking four of the 10 doctors to the American Council on Science and Health, which has received grant money from companies that sell GMOs. Miller is also involved with an organization located here, the American American Council on Science and Health, or ACSH. Remember that name, you're going to hear it again. Oz called out Dr. Henry Miller, describing him as a vocal advocate for GMOs, and calling Dr. Gilbert Ross a convicted felon, having served 22 months in prison for Medicaid fraud. I support GMO labeling. Oz says his critics are motivated to act now because of a bill currently before Congress that he disagrees with that could bar states from requiring labeling for GMOs. Shaming and bullying me is not how it should be done. Dr. Gilbert Ross firing back after the show, telling ABC News instead of addressing the primary concern that he often dispenses questionable medical advice, Dr. Oz has chosen to evade responsibility. And when we reached out to those 10 doctors who called for Oz to be ousted, we received two written statements, and the rest either declined to comment or did not return our call. George. Okay, Lindsay, thanks very much.